I'm going to show you how to very easily and quickly make macros from your character sheet so that you can access those important roles quickly and make combat run a lot smoother. So here I am in my campaign as a player. Uh, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here into the chat box and I'm going to type slash talk to myself and I'm going to click enter. And now you get this message that says you are now talking to yourself. This means that any message I put in the chat box, anything at all, no one else will be able to see. And the next time I refresh the game, it'll be erased completely. This is an incredible way to test your own macros and to test your abilities and roles without being a bother to the DM and to the other players. Because the last thing anyone wants to do is to open up the game and see 50,000 roles have been made since the last game. So always, always turn on talk to yourself when you're testing a new role or a new macro. You can turn it off by typing the exact same message, talk to myself, and it'll turn off. I'm not going to do that now, but you can turn it off like that. Or you could just reload the page. So once I have that on, I'm going to go over to my character sheet here. I'm going to click into my character sheet. And let's say I have a crossbow attack that I really, I've been using a lot. And base it's the go-to attack whenever I'm in combat. I'm going to go over, I want to make a macro of this. So this is actually really easy to do in Roll20. All I have to do is click and drag this. You see it says light crossbow plus six. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag it down here into the macro bar. And then I'm just going to let go. And there you go. If I click it, uh, this is something separate. It rolls the attack. And if we go into our settings and we make sure all our rolls are at advantage, never whisper, and we have this setting, auto roll damage and crit, it makes combat incredibly quick. You don't have to do any math. It rolls two dice, so if you have disadvantage, you can take the lower of the two. If you have, it, if you have advantage, you take the higher of the two. If you don't have either advantage or disadvantage, you just take the first number. And it, it tells me all the information I need. It has the range, it has my modifiers. I put notes into it, so it says two-handed, so I remember I'm using both hands. And I also have it factor in my arcane firearm as an artificer. So that is how to make a very quick and easy macro from your weapon abilities. I can also go over to this button, hover and right click, and I have the option to rename it to crossbow. And then I can also change the color of the button so if I want to color code my macros and I know that all the orange ones are my attacks. Now if I want to reposition this because I don't like it at the end, I can just hover over it, move to the right of the button until I see the four pointed arrow and then I'm just going to click, drag and I can move it anywhere on the macro bar. If I don't want this macro anymore, I will move my mouse off the macro bar. You see how the button is transparent now and then I'm going to let go and it's deleted. So that is the first way of creating a macro and you can do this with just about anything on your character sheet. If I want an initiative macro I can just drag that into the macro bar and I have an initiative macro. If I want, if I do Arcana a lot, I can drag Arcana into the macro bar and that's it. And I don't have to waste time opening my character sheet, looking for where Arcana is, and then clicking it. 
So this is a very useful way of making a macro of an ability that you use often. Now let's say I can't drag something onto the bar. Uh, there are a few things we can't drag. For example, our features and traits here. Let's say I want to show off Flash of Genius. I want to use Flash of Genius, but I can't grab and drag it onto the macro bar. If I click the speech bubble, it displays it into the chat, but I want to make a macro of this. And this is actually also very simple to do because Rule 20 has a feature that lets you repeat your last message or not even your last message, but any message that you've typed into the chat box. All you need to do is go over to the chat box and you're going to push the up arrow on your keyboard. And it displays the last message that I sent in the chat. So this here is the code that is required to display Flash of Genius in this template like this. If I push enter, you see I get a complete copy of what I did in that sheet. So all I have to do is push up and then I'm going to control A to copy all of it, control C to copy. I will go up to the attributes and abilities tab in my character sheet. I'm going to click add and these are my macros. I will click the pencil button here and paste everything that was here into the box and I'll call it flash of genius. And then I can tick the show in macro bar there to put it right there. And now anytime I click this button, it will show flash of genius in the chat box. And that's, that's it. That's all I have to do to make a macro. It's incredibly easy and it will save you so much time in combat that everyone should macro at least your main attack. If you are a fighter, you're always attacking, macro that attack. If you're a monk, you have unarmed strikes, you have regular attacks that you're going to be using two, three times every round. So just put that in on your bar and just click it and you're done. If I have cantrips, I click this, I roll my cantrip, I know immediately if I hit or not, and I can move on to the next person. Uh, next time, we will go into more in-depth macros. So if you have spells, for example, an example of this is I have macroed spells. I can click this, choose my spell in a drop-down menu, and have it display in the chat. Fairy Fire. But that's a little more advanced and that's something we'll do next time.